With the latest update in Local Studio, you can now create progress bar that will transform the way you visualize your data in Local Studio. Hi, this is SL from The Analyzer. Today, we're going to explore the new exciting feature of Local Studio Scorecard Chart. So if you're ready to take your dashboard to the next level and impress your clients, this is the video that you have to watch. First of all, we're going to create the most basic scorecard chart in Local Studio. Now, simply drag and draw one of the metric into the canvas. And this scorecard will be created instantly. This is the fastest way to create a scorecard, but the more conventional way is to click Add a Chart and then select the scorecard and add it to the canvas. Once you've added a scorecard, the next step is to set a target. This will allow you to compare the actual performance against the target or the goal that you have set for a certain period. To add the target for this KPI, click on the chart and go to the property panel and go to the setup tab to edit the chart settings. Under other comparison options, you will notice this comparison type. Now you're going to change this full stop to value. So this is where you will key in your target value. Let's say it's 5,000. Now you will see the comparison metrics being calculated on the same scorecard. And now let me just change the styling so that the font size is bigger for you to see. Just put 48 pixel. Right. Now, if you notice this matrix here, it's actually calculating the growth rate by comparing the current sales versus the target that we have put in. Let's do a simple calculation so that you understand how the calculation works. For the growth rate, it's calculated by taking the actual minus the target, divide by the target, and then times with 100% to get negative 58 percent but what we want is actually the progress percentage which is how many percentage we have reached against our goal so it will be 2068 divided by 5000 times 100 so it's actually 41 percent in our next step we're going to convert this growth rate into a progress rate and with just one click, your progress rate and progress bar will be generated automatically. Now I'm going to click on this chart in the scorecard setup. Simply tick the box show as progress. You can see that now the 41% is being calculated and the progress bar is shown along with the target value at the bottom. As we mentioned earlier, this percentage was initially calculated as growth rate but once we enable show as progress setting this metric will be shown as the progress percentage which indicates how much we have achieved as compared to the target you may now resize the chart so that the progress bar falls inside this scorecard chart a progress bar adds an extra layer of visual to your dashboard it provides a quick snapshot of your progress towards the target. This is a no-brainer if you want to compare your actual performance against the budget or the target numbers that you have set. Now, let's talk about how you can customize the color of your progress bar. In Lurker Studio, when you have met your target, the color of the progress bar will turn into green by default. And when the actual fall short of the target, it will be shown in red. So if you want to change the color a bit and follow your own brand colors or the report colors, you can change the color in the chart settings. Now to change the progress bar, you can click on this chart and go to the style. And under the comparison fields, you can see this is upward trend and downward trend. So for the negative, it's when we haven't made the target yet. So this would be the color that we want to change. 
let's say you want to change it to pink color you can do that by just selecting the color or you can also define your own color by clicking the plus button under the custom and here you can key in the hex code or you can just simply drag the point here to the location that you want to extract the color so for example we're going to stop here and click done and that's how we can change the color to a custom color so what if we want to change the color when the target has been achieved so for the example let's change the target value to 2000 so now you can see that the color changed to green when we met the target and then at the style we're going to change the positive color to let's say this purple in our color palette and that's done so now i'm going to change this number back to the original number so that later i can show more examples in the next section now here's a bonus tip that will really elevate your scorecard game did you know that you can transform your progress bar into a visually appealing radical progress bar let me show you simply change the style settings and under the progress visual change the bar to circle and that's where you get a mini um, donut chart here along with the percentage now you can drag it down so that this donut chart gets bigger so that brings us to the end of this tutorial we have covered everything from creating a simple scorecard to a progress bar and finally turning it into a radical progress bar and this is all going to help you build a better report if you are interested to customize them further by adding conditional formatting to highlight your card when it reaches a certain threshold or when it fulfills a certain rules or condition you can totally do that with conditional formatting i'll leave the link to the previous video which i've covered this topic for you to learn more if you find this tutorial helpful don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so the algorithm will push my videos further and reach more audience thank you so much for your help and i'll see you in the next video bye bye